welcome back to March Forever. My name is Tiana and in today's video we're going to do another House to Forever Home update. So if you're new here and love all things home decor, DIY, using that white, black, and gray aesthetic with neutral tones, so please be sure to hit the subscribe button to join our March Forever family. And if you're up to goodie, welcome back guys. So I have recorded this video before but I don't know what happened to the footage. I've just been having so many problems with my camera. I need to figure it out. This is a brand new camera. I need to figure it out. But anyways, um, Eric and I decided that for Christmas this year, instead of buying um, little Eric a bunch of toys, we were just going to redo his room. His room right now is the constellation theme, and I love it. It was very minimal, um, and he loved it too because he loves stars. Um, but we did this when we first moved in just to make him feel comfortable and at home because we had been through, I think, three moves by the time we had got here because we sold our house, moved into our temporary home, moved out to temporary home and came here. So we wanted just to do his like playroom and bedroom very quickly so he can just like feel like comfortable. Um because it was such a big transition. And so we did this thing and I really love it. But now that he's actually truly into something, like he is into something without me like trying to push it on him with our Hot Wheel cars, um I figured let's do his room with that theme because it still can be very minimal um, and it's a great way we can like store his cars and just make it something that I know that he really wants um, even though he hasn't asked for it but he didn't ask for this either but he liked it but I want to do something that I know he'll like love um, and so we did an Amazon gift list or wish list this year and we sent the list to our parents and told them to like no toys like the kids have a whole playroom with plenty of toys. I rotate toys. Like, we don't need toys. And so, they just bought everything off of the Amazon gift list. And then we purchased some extra things, too, um, just to make his room um, how I envisioned it in my head. Um, I did a couple, like, DIY and hacks. Again, follow us on TikTok. All of it is over there. And, um, what else? I already, like, cleaned the room. So, I, like, wiped down the walls already. There might be a couple more scuff marks I want to go back and wipe again. Um, I wiped down the doors. I wiped down the baseboards. I vacuumed the floor. I shampooed the carpet. So I already like kind of like prepped the room before today so that it can be very easy. I also went ahead and um, put up the nails around the room for where I'm hanging stuff. Again, just to make it as easy as possible because it is 10 o'clock at night. He didn't go to bed until like 9. And baby girl went to bed then woke up. And she wasn't comfortable downstairs because on Christmas Eve every year we do a fort in the living room. But she wasn't, well not a fort, just like a blow up bed situation. But she was like not feeling it. So I brought her upstairs to her room. So if you hear that sound in the back, it's her sound machine. Um, but I did all of that stuff because I didn't want to be trying to figure out all the hard stuff and measuring at 10 o'clock at night before Christmas. Like I'm tired, ready to go to bed. Um... So I did all that stuff and it should really take no time. I also already built the shelves for his closet. So it should be a really smooth transition. Okay. So now I'm going to jump into the next clip to show you guys how I plan to design the whole space. And then I'll come back, transform the room, and then I'll go through all the things with you guys at the end. Because again, I recorded that part, but I don't know where half the footage is. So I'll just go to the room and tell you where everything is. Okay? See y'all soon. All right, guys. So when you walk into his room, I'm in the entryway part. We have a wall here. I'm going to do just some frames um, that are race car inspired. And I'm still trying to figure out the layout I want to use. On this wall here, we're going to do a Hot Wheels tire shelf. So it's going to be a shelf in the shape of a tire. And then he's going to keep his hot wheel cars here. And then right here we're going to do a toy bin. But we're actually going to use it for his dirty clothes hamper. Because he already has a toy room downstairs. Um, and we will have like a little step stool here. That will really live in the bathroom. And right here so he can like grab his car. Because as I told you guys he used those hot wheels like a security blanket. So he has to sleep with one every single night. Alright then here's his closet. Um. I just have some bags in here because I want I have some stuff that I want to put in here. It is a walk-in closet, but it's fairly, it's not that big. It's the same size as a reaching closet, but instead of going straight across, they just kind of like hooked it um, to make this room right here uh, oversized. So that's the biggest secondary 
bedroom, the guest room. Um, but anyways, um, I decided just to do two of the six cute organizer shelves. I love those. I have one in Avia's room. I have one in my closet. I have the nine cute in my closet. They just make great for storage in my opinion. And I use these bins for like his swim stuff because he was in swim class. I'm going to change this to a race car when it's red and blue. Of course, we're going to get a race car comforter set. We're actually going to get two because we got two because he is now like not wearing training pants at night. We just wake him up to pee or he holds it, which is really good. So, um, but we still want to have two just in case we have an accident and we can just change it out really quick. Um, as far as the carpet, we're going to do like the black and white checkered um, rug with a little finish line flag. Is that what it's called? Like a race car flag? Whatever that is. It's black and white checkered. We're going to do that under the bed. Um, and then in this corner here, it's his favorite part in the room. He loves this corner. He will sleep there. He plays over here. When he's watching TV, he's watching it over there. Um, he just loves that corner. Every night, he's like, Mama, can I lay in the corner? And I'm like, no, Chunk, get into bed. Because when he sleeps in the corner, he doesn't sleep all night. He'll wake up and then want to come in our room. But if he's in his bed, he'll just sleep throughout the night. So I'm like, no, get into bed. <laughs> um, and so I got a chair that can recline all the way back and be flat. So if he wants to sleep over here, he can. And it's just super comfortable because it can lean up and it can go three-fourths of the way back so it's very flexible in that sense um and then also i'm just going to do a bunch of like race car inspired um pillows as well as a blanket and the most exciting thing i'm excited for on this side of the room is someone on my facebook was like do something interactive with the race cars i'm like hmm what can i do that's not going to be an eyesore and so I really wanted to do it where the entire shelf is going to be. But then when I seen that toy bin, I was like, let's get that. Because he really needs a dirty clothes hamper because his clothes are just on the corner on the side of his dresser. Because his old hamper just ripped or something and I never got a new one. And so on the side of the bed here, I'm actually going to use some command strips to mount some acrylic shelves that are wide enough for his race cars, his hot wheel cars. And so he'll be able to like to just drop a car and then it'll just go down the track. Um, he has a toy like that. He loves it. So I figured let me recreate that right here on the side of his bed. So I found some black acrylic shelves that I'm going to do that there. And since he's always in this corner, it just works perfectly. Um, and then I think up here I'm going to have like just like a little stop sign or like a no speed limit sign. Something cute like that in this section. And then on this side, like right beside his other window, I'm going to do like a growth chart. And I just found like a regular white ruler looking one. But I'm going to jazz it up with some race cars. And so I purchased some bulletin board race cars. And I'm just going to like write on the back the date, his age. And then put it wherever, however tall he is. And then the idea is every season or twice a year, I will take his height and then you'll just see cars kind of going up the wall. That's my idea for that. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. Of course, I'm going to have, of course, we ordered some um, 
more race car books because he loves to read he loves books so i'm going to have those and probably display over here under the window where you can actually see the front face of the books um and that's it we i think we were going to redo this light but eric wants to do a ceiling thing in here which i agree but the kind of pre-wire we got is at the ceiling fan one so I need my dad to come over here and do it because he's an electrician. So he'll be able to put the correct mount up so that it can hold the weight of the ceiling fan. And I'm not going to bug him right now because he's, um, he is really busy at work. He is, woo, he is so busy at work. So I'm not going to bother him. I'll just get him to do that whenever he has time. We haven't even found the ceiling fan yet because I definitely want to measure and make sure it's not too big for this room. So when it's on, it's not freezing my child. Um... <laughs> So we'll probably just do that whenever my dad can come over and do that because that's something that we're not going to do at all.
a stop sign. Yeah. Go sit over there. That's your new chair. Mm, you can sit over there. Ooh. <laughs> like this wall. <laughs> Look at your bed. See your bed?